Are you scared of the cold, you little weenie baby? It's currently negative 18 degrees outside. I can hear you already. Ryan, aren't you from Texas? What if I told you I literally flew to freezing cold temperatures in Colorado because Broncos fan 14 commented on my video where I sleep in my car and said, LOL. I am from Colorado and just went camping below freezing. This guy couldn't last a night in my Jesus. So Broncos fan 14, challenge accepted. Yeah. I know how to ride these things. Thanks, Google, for sponsoring this video. I packed my bags and a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Yeah, it flips open. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. I'm bringing it as another camera because it lets me get shots like this. Yeah, I'm having fun. But it's time to go to Colorado. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> get over here. <clears throat> That just took like 30 minutes. That was such a waste of time. <laughs> so this is the car that I'm camping in tonight. I figure I might as well go check it out. Let's get a little car tour going. <laughs> Welcome to my shelter for the night. Tire, emergency headlights. My phone's in a tree right now. Hey Google, take a photo. Oh yeah, it does that. Six doors. The back seat. Cozy, I like it. The trunk. Oh, room for one more? Yeah. I'll keep going. The driver's seat. I forgot I rented a Japanese vehicle. It's on the it's on a different side than I'm used to. Rear view mirror check. <laughs> it has one. That's good. Safety first. I just realized I don't have any food, which means really I have to develop a game plan. I haven't said that in a while. Kind of fun. Step one, go grocery shopping. That's right. I need food, I need water, I need fun drinks. Step two, the setup. That's right, I gotta get this bad boy ready for sleep time. That means bed, that means pillow, that means lantern inside because I'm scared of the dark. That means a lot of things. But most of all, that means warmth. It's gonna get down to negative 18 degrees tonight and I have to make this thing warm enough for a small Texas man. <laughs> step three, make a juicy steak. Step four, go night night. And step five, wake up in the morning for a hot cup of joe. How's it sound? Sounds like a good game plan. Well, let's go grocery shopping. This is my first time driving a car that has its steering wheel on the right side. I'm a little scared. I'm using Google Maps Eco Routes, by the way. I've also never really driven in snow before, but look at me. I am oozing confidence. <laughs> look at me now, Broncos fan 14. I am absolutely traversing through this snow. Ran over my phone to get this shot. <laughs> yeah, definitely not nervous at all. No, it's fine. It's fine. So this cute little town is like 10 minutes away, but it took me an hour because of those shots that I got. Hope you liked them. <laughs> I made it to a market. Most YouTubers would probably go hunt a wild animal with their bare hands, but me, mm, I'm quirky. I got an apple, a potato. We got coffee for the morning. Some butter and nuts, a steak, and some gummy worms. Don't tell anyone about that. Grocery haul complete. I need to buy it still, but this is super fun. I've, I've got dinner, I've got snacks, everything I could possibly need for one night, okay? You guys didn't know I threw down a mean steak, huh? I do. <sighs> Made it back safe and sound. Can't get over that. I got out on the right side. Now comes the fun part and the essential part. The setup. Come here. I'm just kidding. It's cold. Since I've landed in Colorado, I've told people that I'm car camping tonight, and they're like, oh wow, that's that's a bold night to do it. There've been multiple people that said that, which is worrisome. I packed these bags, I brought them all the way from Texas, and all of this is about to turn into a bedroom. Let's get started. We've got a mattress. I also have a blow-up pillow. The sleeping bag is in. I've got a gas stove, a skillet, a lantern, and a coffee maker. But this is pretty much the setup, so I'm gonna get in here and test it out. <laughs> I don't know how to do those clap transitions. Setup complete. <laughs> it's so cozy in here. Look at this, look how, look how fun this is. Oh, yes, right? Nice and cozy, I got a source of light. Who knows how long this thing's gonna last, but ultimately, the real, Oh, okay, it works. It's fine. <laughs> Ayo, cozy chick. <laughs> nah, no, seriously. My groceries are in the passenger seat of the vehicle, so very excited to make some steak later. However, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is start a fire. I've never really been actually camping before. Like, I've slept in a tent in the woods once, but that doesn't mean I know how to use propane. So I'm gonna make a cozy little fire outside, and then I'm gonna cook a steak with potatoes on a stove.
So I got some firewood on the way home from grocery shopping, and this is a fire pit that it was already on the campsite. Not even sure if it's really a fire pit, it might just be a conglomerate of rocks. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I'm gonna start just getting some of the snow off, clearing this out so we can start ourselves a fire. I cleaned off the rocks, dug out some snow, I put my wood down, and... Ugh. Hey Google, video call Rob. This is Rob. He taught me how to build a survival shelter out in the woods. He taught me how to make a fire. He taught me how to be a man. I haven't started a fire since then, so let's see if he can work his magic. Rob! <laughs> What's up, Ryan? How's it going? Good, man. You look cool. Then I showed Rob what I was working with, and he taught me how to get this thing started again. Rob, I love yeah. you. I'm going to send you a selfie with the fire, okay? All right, man. Good luck and stay warm. All right, Rob. Take care, brother. That man is my hero. All right. I'm going to do exactly what he said to make a fire. I cleared out the bottom of the fire pit. There's still snow down there, which is mildly concerning. Collected some dead pine needles for my base. I got various sizes of sticks. I'm going to run back as fast as I can. I found myself in this moment feeling three things. Cold, happy, and mildly constipated. I'm a little bit worried about that. What's gonna happen if I have to go, uh, <laughs> go crazy, if you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but this is bringing me back to my survival shelter days, which is literally like three months ago. And I realized I actually like being outside. I, I don't really go outside much, but in this moment, I'm having so much fun. All right, we have fire. I'm gonna send a selfie to Rob. Hey Google, take a photo. It's for Rob, so. Hey, it's super cold, look at this. Goodness. But the other thing I know is that it's dinner time, all right? Haven't eaten too much today. My steak is frozen solid. I was gonna eat my apple earlier, but it was literally just, it, it potentially was actually a rock. Might have actually gotten it just mixed up with a rock. It was completely frozen. I'm gonna season this bad boy. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I mean, hey, that's a good looking steak, okay? <laughs> First time using a propane stove. This is very exciting. Here we go. Beautiful, there it is. Nice. We'll let that sit there for about three minutes. Oh yeah. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Oh my gosh. Something my dad taught me in the last minute of your steak. Throw in a tablespoon of butter. Don't judge me, I I don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's just all over my hands, it's like frozen. I'm doing this for you Broncos fan, I hope you're happy. Voila, we have steak. I'm gonna get inside of this truck and eat my dinner. That sounds great. I'm gonna absolutely devour this steak. It's it's simply the way that it's gonna be. I've got a cute little camping fork. I've got a cute little camping spoon and knife. So really, the only thing left to do is... I don't know why I keep doing that. Done. That was so good. I Here's a quick little time lapse of me eating that bad boy. Anyways, the steak was satiating. Pretty sure I have grease all over my face, like a freak. Bro, I didn't realize that the entire steak was still on my chin. Dude, I went crazy on that thing. Regardless, I'm just gonna chill in here for a little bit, see if I can uh, organize my space, maybe clean up a little bit, and then I think I'm gonna make some dessert. We've got a campfire for a reason. Cue the musical montage. As I was sitting there in the car, I could see my own breath. It was extremely cold. There was only one thing I could do to ensure my survival. I'm making s'mores. <laughs> I like my dessert, what can I say? <laughs> the chocolate was frozen. It was so frozen. It's negative 18 degrees outside. Anyways, honestly, I think I'm doing okay. I've got a mini sleeping bag in my sleeping bag. My pants have pants underneath. My socks have socks underneath. And to be honest, I have hand warmers in my toes, which is probably illegal in at least a few countries. So that's good. And to top it all off, my two forms of entertainment for the night has been eating these gummy worms. Gummy. I don't think so. And the other thing is just been watching my own YouTube videos because that's all I have downloaded for some reason. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to the morning where I get to make coffee in one of those cool little kettles. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the hay, go to bed, hit this sack, sleep. Did I do it that time? Hey, I'm actually kind of loopy so i just slept for a little bit and my feet were like kind of tingling and i was like i should probably check if they're freezing or 
boiling. And turns out they're boiling because of the the hand warmers. It's just really cold in here. But I got the good stuff on. Huh? So buzz off, cold. Guys, I'm going to go back to bed. Sleeping through the night was insane. That was the coldest temperature I have ever physically been in, and definitely the coldest temperatures I've ever slept in. I woke up multiple times throughout the night, but we made it, baby. Good morning. Oh, we did it. I'm gonna make some coffee. Thanks again to Google and Samsung for sponsoring this video. I got so many fun shots with the Z Flip 4. I had a great time. Look at that phone just sitting up. Look at me recording hands-free. I love technology. So this was a dream come true. I made some of the thickest coffee in the world in this cool little kettle. And Bronco's Fan 14. Look at me now. <laughs> and with that being said, there was only one thing left to do. Immediately book my flight back home to Texas. <laughs> love you guys. Watch another video? <laughs> I don't know. Have a good day.